Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. When you uh, wake up in the morning, you never know how congested you're going to be. So I'm recording this video and dedicating this to Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider is uh, definitely one of my favorite champions I use all year. And who knows? Maybe I'll speak another six star Cosmic Ghost Rider. I haven't landed on that guy in so long. I feel like the Kabam RNG knows how good Cosmic Ghost Rider is, just like Hercules and everybody else. And he definitely wants to avoid that pool. So, in the spirit of opening crystals, if you missed my last opening, I had six shots at the new featured Seven Star Serpent. I did not get Serpent or Dust, but unless you count the four-star version, which we're not going to count, but of course when you get the six-star version, it's all good. All right. First crystal of six, the back half, technically. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still trying to not sound like I've got a frog in my throat, and that is difficult. All right, here we go. Here we go. Crystal is slowing down. There's a seven star serpent. And it's five star. Better than a four star, but not at all why you open these crystals. I honestly forget Yellow Jacket got a buff. He's one of those champions that just kind of, I don't know, doesn't really uh, make me excited to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Just really not that exciting. Let's, uh, let's try to tap the screen for the next one and see if that brings us any better luck. Four, six, four. Right next to a seven star, of course. Uh, we got two six stars last time. We got, obviously, zero six stars so far this time. We're going to need better RNG in the back half if the back half is going to beat the front half in luck. Which <clears throat> is not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination. And yet, here we are. Here we are. It's spinning around. Give us a six or seven star. I still wish these were superior mythic crystals, but those only go to Valiant players in daily specials, and the only daily special that has them is the online website. And another five star and another seven star Atuma is just staring at us one crystal away. Okay, so $30 worth of crystals left. And I'm not going to lie, we've done way better than this. All right, let's tap it now and see if this is the lucky number. What's up, Hercules? And Dollar General Batman over to a four star King Group. All right, we're going to let the last one go and then pop the final one in honor of Prof Box and his lovely daughter, Prof Tot. Team pop for the win. Unless we go back-to-back -back six stars in these last two crystals, the front half won. Or one could argue one seven star is definitely worth more than two six stars, so it would take two six stars or a seven star to tie or beat the front half, which is uh, not the position you want to be in. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Here we go. Spinning around. And wow. Just ugly. This is the kind of thing that makes people want to quit the game. Because 
these drop rates are just so bad, and Kabam refuses to improve them. So I'm doing this for content, and I'm doing this for a guaranteed six-star. But outside of that, I remind you all, I, I have people who literally say, Prof, I love watching your crystal openings because you waste your units, so I don't have to. No, this, this was cash, to be clear. But, yeah, uh, don't waste it. All right, here we go. We're going to pop one crystal. And we got another four-star serpent. That batch of five is the definition of not worth your cash, not worth your money. Um, some players might quit after this. I won't because I'm a YouTuber. But, man, Kabam, you can do better than this, especially for Paragon players. Paragon and Valiant players deserve better than this. And uh, maybe they agree, but it's going to take six months from now to come back. Who knows? Either way, thanks for watching this pathetic crystal opening. Have a good one.